What's up YouTube? Quick intro to today's video. I actually already have the whole thing edited and was about to post it and then I watched John B's newest video. <laughs> I'm gonna link it in the description. John B is literally one of the Googans that got me interested in fishing and got me into all these DC reels and all this stuff and he just fished the two ponds that Bryce and I are gonna fish in this video. So it's just exciting because I'm throwing the Googan baits. I've been having a blast with them and catching a lot of fish on them and so just to <laughs> fish some of the same ponds that he fished uh, recently is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll today's footage. I hope you guys enjoy. What's up guys? <laughs> Bryce and I are out here at the secret catfish spot we're not going to disclose, but I will disclose to you my rig. <laughs> I just got done oh, shopping over at Wally World for some hot dogs, 98 cents, I got the special. And anyways, what we're going to do today is something you probably haven't seen before. We're going to go catfishing with a bait caster. The Scorpion DC reel, how about that? I got my 30 pound braid on the Scorpion as usual. I'm throwing the Fate Black Rod, the snapped one because I don't want to risk my one that's in good shape in case one of these big cats tears it off because there are big ones in here. I just tied a Palomar knot to this jointed hook thing. I don't know how to explain it. What is it called? Snell. A snell? I don't know. I guess Bryce is telling me this is a snell setup. I just tied a Palomar knot to it so that it ended up being like 12 inches above my weight which I tied another Palomar knot to. Y'all know I'm, I'm oblivious on the rest of these knots over here so I'm just going to throw this thing out. Basically it's like a drop shot style type of thing where the hook's another 12 or 14 inches up from the weight. We're gonna toss some hot dogs out here. I'll shut up and get behind the camera. All right, let's get the party started. We're gonna go with the hot dog. And I like to, cause these things fall off pretty easy, go through it and then you kinda feed the hook all the way through, twist it a little bit, and then you put the hook right back in there. Less chance of it falling off during the cast. And a lot of people will do two hooks or three hooks or whatever, increase their chances I guess, but we're just throwing the one. Let's see how the scorpion throws it in the wind. Oh, I'm out there. I'm right in the middle. That might be too far. Yeah, it's going to be harder to detect bites today. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> you better set that baby. <laughs> Please tell me you record. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's good shit. I bet you he's got like a four pounder on here too because that's the size they were last time we were here. That was the hot dog? Okay, he's a young one. I spoke too soon. First fish in the morning, or I guess it's afternoon. Alright, this hot dog, something's jinxed it. I don't think there's enough sodium. Another tip I got is don't just use the biggest piece of hot dog because you think it'll be better because what'll happen is they'll nibble on it and they'll miss your hook half the time. So just put a piece that's big enough to get their attention and get over the hook and you'll be fine. You don't have to throw the biggest piece. You get catfish with it? Oh. Got him. Oh, a largey belly on the hot dog. Hey, I thought we were doing something different today, but I guess not. Bass want the dogs too, y'all. Oh, this hook. My hands are so cold. <laughs> Unexpected catch of the day. First one of the day. We're gonna toss him back and uh, get to work on some more catfish. Fresh dog on the hook. Yeah, he's uh, he's solid, right? For a little bottom feeder. All right. You seen it live on the channel. You ain't really bass fished until you've thrown a hot dog. Guys, we've been out here for a hot minute and we just got the one smaller catfish and the uh, the bass. So we're gonna go try another pond actually pretty close to here. Okay guys, so Bryce and I got here. I caught a fish right after the first GoPro battery died. So I just ran to the car and got a few spare batteries, but it was just a little guy. He was only about as big as the trench hog. I'll go ahead and post the photo up right here real fast. So that was him. And uh, I'm thinking there's something hanging out in all this mess right here. We might be able to hog them out of here. The secret pond all the way upstream. You want a bandito bug for the next cast or are you, are you casting that thing? Back to the main pond. All right, we made it back to the front. Let's see who's hungry. Oh, 
there he is. Right up by it. Oh, he's good too. He might be two and a half or something. He's pretty good. All right, we'll see you, bud. He just grabbed it right here. Just how we like. Calm corner. I assumed it might be that way. Trench Hog's doing pretty good work today. I didn't think he was gonna be that big when I set the hook because just the way he took it didn't seem too aggressive. Dude, right here. He picked it up right by my feet, like in the drain. The line was almost vertical. That's a good one to end the day on too if I don't catch anything else, so. Might go ahead and just let you guys know that we have been fishing the Lone Star Ranch pond off of Lebanon right here between 423 and the Tollway. And uh, that was after the catfish location. And we tried a few other ponds right here by the Lone Star one as well. This is kind of the main one, but there's a smaller one up here where there's some decent bass in where I caught the little one that I threw the picture up at. And then we kind of went to the, follow this creek up through other ponds where a lot of bluegill are logged, but not any bass. And so uh, we just made our way back here and I was hoping to get another catch or two before we wrap things up. You guys know I like to link my favorite gear down in the description, so it's down there for you. 